I mean, there's a time and a place for a German sausage, and it's not to perk a woman up. Well, I'm making pretend big breasts for Michelle. That looks ridiculous. Your boxer shorts aren't leaving much to the imagination. <laughs> Growing up is not an option. Carrie and Barry starts next Saturday at 9.35 on BBC One. You're back from Manila. You had lumpia for dinner. Then you made love to two Filipino women. And a man. You mean three Filipino women? No! American dad and family guy. A very puzzle recommendation. Next Saturday at 10.05 on your BBC <laughs> TV. Bleak House. Twice weekly installments. Coming soon to BBC One. Now on BBC One tonight's lottery news. In the main lotto draw, the winning numbers are 4, 7, 29, 30, 42 and 44. The bonus is 39. It looks like there are five lucky jackpot winners, each of more than £867,000. The lotto extra numbers are 21, 25, 26, 33, 42 and 43. No winners here, though, so the jackpot for the next draw has grown to an estimated £1.2 million. The Thunderball numbers are 8, 12, 17, 24 and 29. The Thunderball itself is 3. There are two winners of the top prize. Three. This is Dudley. He's here to fix things with a missus. He thinks she's a prude. He's in for a shock. That's me, Carter. I'm here for information. Someone I care about has been killed. Little do we know, we're all about to get thrown to the walls. The psychos who run this town. A disturbingly funny new thriller, Fun Land, coming soon to BBC Three. Stephen Hendry and John Higgins are reaching the climax of an exciting semi-final at the Grand Prix Snooker. It's live over on BBC Two now, and the final is tomorrow from 2.30. Popeye Doyle is back. Gene Hackman stars in a classic sequel, French Connection 2, at 11.40 on BBC One. It's often the case that the Barclays Premiership fixtures the Saturday after an international break are mundane, lethargic affairs. Not this week. Seven games for you, some thrilling stuff and plenty of goals. A couple of bright sparks in the studio too, Alan Hansen and Graham Lasso. We start with the champions, Chelsea. They return to Bolton, a side who fared better than most against the league leaders in recent times. The commentator at Stamford Bridge was Guy Mowbray. An appropriate time to reinforce football's commitment to kick out racism ahead of a contest that features stars from all around the world game. Fifteen different nationalities represented in the starting lineups, and every single one of the Chelsea 11 will be, or still could be, playing at the World Cup next summer. Just the one Chelsea changed today, Sean Wright Phillips comes in for Damien Duff. He was injured on island duty last weekend. From the billionaires to the bounty hunters, Bolton have taken four points from their last two trips to Chelsea, but lost last time out at Wigan. Three changes from then, with Juf, Stelios and Abdullahi Fai all recalled. JJ Okocha sits out with a muscle strain. Chelsea's only premiership loss to date under Jose Mourinho came one year ago tomorrow. Lost by a goal to nil at Manchester City. Their only loss in the last 50 that they've played in the Premiership. And now here we go with Chelsea entertaining Bolton off the back of a two-game international break. Makaleli getting clear of Kevin Nolan. Here's Drogba. 
Went to try and catch UC Askelon and off guard. He has gone five games without a goal now, Trogba, for Chelsea. And was trying to make amends within two minutes there. Bolton have barely had a kick of the ball. Galas to Essien. Strongly challenged by Abdullah Fai. Pedersen. Looking for Kevin Davis, who wins the header. Juf. Found a way through to Stelios! Bolted in front at Stamford Bridge! That's rocked the champions. El Hatch juiced it so well. Delorno and Terry were struggling. And Stelios kept his head to finish so coolly. El Hatch juiced deserves a great share of the credit for his part in the goal. And it's Chelsea nil, Bolton Wanderers won. Ben Haim did his best to keep it in, but gave the ball away. It's a lovely cross from Del Orno, and Ngotti could do nothing but head it behind. It was a good defensive header. It was Ngotti's error that led to the first Wigan goal in Bolton's 2-1 defeat a fortnight ago. Presented one on a plate for Henri Camera. Lampard fires over. Jaskalainen was always struggling. Right, Phillips. Davis got his head to it. But it's been given as a goal kick. And Chelsea protests furiously. Looked as though it was Kevin Davis who headed it behind at first glance. He was under pressure. No, maybe Delorno got in in front of him. Chelsea did shout long and loud for the corner. Seemed to come off the Spaniard. for Drogba. Pedersen's going to win the race with Essien, but he's been forced to concede the corner. Pedersen just inquiring politely as to why the referee hasn't spotted a shove on him. Up goes Essien. Here's Joe Cole! Super strike! Yaskalina did well to keep it out. John Terry deals with Duke. The closest Chelsea have come to an equaliser so far, hitting it into the crowd as crisp as they come. Yaskalain, and maybe with a bit of glove and a bit of boot, whatever it took, it kept it out. Stelios advances himself now. Returned to him by Nolan. Up goes Speed, and Czech thought about getting his gloves to it. It did just loop over without any further intervention. It's like the Gary Speed of old, that timing is run into the box. He just couldn't quite get on top of the ball. Joe Cole set himself. Is he in the mood to score today or what? Would have been something to behold. I think Yaskalana knew where it was headed. Is that the face of concern or just the usual cool look? Lampard. Pedersen didn't get that. Here's Sean Wright Phillips. Drogba offside. Flag went up immediately. The Chelsea cheers are cut short. Drogba seems to acknowledge the flag. Oh, it's quite an easy decision in the end. Didier Drogba was booked for marching too aggressively over towards the assistant referee, having seen his goal ruled out. Here's Gary Speed! Tremendous hit from Speed, and Czech was well beaten. Sam Allardyce will be 51 on Wednesday. 
On the same date he celebrates six years as Bolton boss. Essien. Now he seemed to go over the top of the ball there. It's Ben Haim stretching. And Essien with a horrible challenge. And I think immediately he's playing the bluff. That is nasty. I think it's just a word of warning. Surely a yellow card. It is yellow. And Michael Essien is very, very lucky.